Hello, and this is Sonia from Sonia's Mixed Media. Today I'm going to be showing you some art journaling inspirational um, books that I've purchased throughout the years, um, just to sort of help me come up with ideas and to look at other artists. Um, and if you're anything like me, I love seeing reviews of um, different art books, especially things I'm interested in doing myself. Um, so I thought I would hopefully do one or two videos of all the different sort of <clears throat> art um, books I have. This stack here is all my journaling um, style books, so all about art journals. And then I have another stack um, here on my desk, which are my sort of what I call um some are like books with art in them um ideas how to do different types of art all to do with um art journaling and things like that so we'll get to it and um i'll give you a bit of flip through and yeah you might want to <laughs> go to amazon or something at the end and see if you can find them some of these i've got this one is actually um an ex uh, library book um, they often have, it cost me $3, um, they often have in my town, I think once a year or once every two years, a big library sell-off sale. So this was one that I picked up. It's called Freehand by Helen Birch. So there you go, Helen Birch. Sketching tips and tricks drawn from art. And this is <clears throat> um, by all different artists and it it comes in sections um like at like there's types of drawings different mediums different subjects in here and it has the little um sort of some size um images of what's in the book but then um it tells you what is drawing um, and then it has sketches in here and they're all by different artists and it tells you a little bit um, what it is. It's about the artist and it will tell you what sort of art it is. So this is a monochrome design. Um, it was uh, its landscape design. It was with black ink and then uh, digitalized, I think. And then it's uh, line and construction work. So each one will um, say what it is. And there's so many different types of art in here. It's really inspiring book and I'm so glad I've got it because my style of doing art um, changes a lot because I get bored quickly. So then I want to learn something new. So I love taking little um, create space courses or um, domestica courses. And I love buying different books like this. Um, so um you have all these different types in here and it's just really beautiful art and um so this is black and white silhouettes and it was made with image editing software um yeah so you've got everything from that you've got um just um graphite pencil sketchbooks you've got collage uh, I won't show you the whole book because then you won't buy it. <laughs> but lots and lots of just different people's art styles. So if you're looking for something new and you're in a bit of an art, um, uh, art slump at the moment, this is a really cute book that um, should inspire you to try something new. And yeah, I really like it because it does have how the, the image was made. Um, now this one is by Hardle Grant Books, and I'll just see when it came out, it's not a new one, that's for sure, uh, 2013 it says, um, yeah, published in 2013 by Hardy Grant Books, um, and it's an Australian printed book by the looks of it, or oh, it was, uh, also London. So there you go, that's Freehand by Helen Birch. Great if you're in a creative slump. Another one for 
great for creative slumps is this one and I've had this for a few years as well this is artist journal pages a thousand artist journal pages I should say by Dawn D. Varies So Cole. I'll just show you that so in case you want to look it up there. Dawn D. Rise So Cole. And yeah, a thousand, just like it says, a thousand artist journal pages. So again, when you're in a slump and you don't know what to art journal or you want to make a new art journal, um, this is a really good one to get the juices flowing again. Um, so there's all styles of art journals in here. Um, and it's not just the really beautiful, pretty ones. It's, you know, everyday people who have art journals and keep art journals. Um, there's collage in here, there's drawing. Um, I mean, look how fantastic this is. Uh, it looks very scribbly, but she's got writing that she writes and then she scribbles over the top and does art. So maybe she doesn't want her writing to be seen after she's done it. Um, so these, all these four pages are done by the same artist. So you can then look up that artist on Google, which I've done a few times. You can see more of their work sometimes if they have Instagram or Facebook. Um, lots of different collage ideas painting ideas um, I've actually <laughs> the dear naughty and I did cut something out of here I wanted for actual collage <laughs> so it inspired me so much I used it um, so this is a really nice book as well and very thick a lot of lot of um, inspirational pages in here I've tagged something let's have a look I've tagged this page here um, <clears throat> Yeah, I think this was about because uh, I really can't draw people very well. And I was looking at the, how she's drawn the people on this page for life drawing. So, yeah, that one is A Thousand Artist Journal Pages by Dawn D. Vries Sokol. And it looks like it's by Quarry Books. <clears throat> There's the ISBN number if you want to check that out. And it says on the book here, I'll just have a look. An artist journal is a visual diary, a place to play, experiment, imagine, remember, try new techniques and to document your daily life, your ambitions and your dreams. It is also a place to scream, to cry, to lament, to fantasize and to get in touch with your inner self. Uh, this book shares with you over a thousand intimate, exciting, beautiful, experimental and very personal pages from journal artists all around the world. You will be inspired, touched and amazed by what you will find within these pages. And then it's got also available is a thousand artist trading cards. So if you're into trading cards, um, there is the artist journals and sketchbooks, which would be a nice one and true vision. Not sure what that one is but probably another art journaling book as well so I've had that for quite a few years then I have the an illustrated life by the amazing Danny Gregory who's here on YouTube and Instagram and always doing drawing classes and showing you what he's drawing and again this, as it says, is drawing inspiration from the private sketchbooks of artists, illustrators and designers. And I got this after watching Danny Gregory on YouTube. He very much inspired, if you looked at my previous videos, I had some sketchbooks um, where I sort of drew um, houses around the town. And he very much inspired me to do that. And, and also this book which again is just fabulous. It's got all about the artists who did the page. Um, some have got one picture, some have got various um, journal pages, but all different styles again. Um, yeah, just love this book. If you love art journals and journaling and want to find different ways of doing some art journaling. Um, it's a great book. And um, 
yeah, I'm very much into, at the moment, I will show you at the end of this video, I've started a new sketchbook. It's very new. I've only done a couple of pages, but I will show you. <laughs> I'm very much into um, life um, sketching and painting at the moment. So um, this is one of these books that, you know, I will keep forever because it's always great to have inspiration on hand. And there's just so many different styles in this book, so many different artists. And again, you can go onto Google and look them up. Um, this page here I've just landed on is actually Matthias Alfonso, Alfonso. And he actually does a course, I think it's on Domestica. Um, he's actually doing a course at the moment on how to change your doodles into... Um, into characters and creations and yeah he's a very famous artist and yeah so you can look him up he does courses he's on instagram great artist and he's in this book so yeah so very much fantastic book um highly recommend an illustrated life by danny gregory and yeah it's a very very thick 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 book um, the next one I've got um, is the Art of Urban Sketching, Drawing on Location Around the World. Again, it's a quarry book and it's See the World One Drawing at a Time. So this is from artists from all around the world and it's divided up um, like each place has a different artist from around the world and their pages and... It's all about um, urban drawing and sketching and painting. So when you're out and about, it might be of people. It um, mostly about places um, when you're out and about. <clears throat> um, buildings. Um, yeah, you've got anything. You've got traffic. You know the sea. Um, but it's all like this is from Stuttgart. This is. <clears throat> it's got the artist profile and that they're in Stuttgart. Um, you've got Berlin, so the artist here and the images from Berlin. And then it will sh give you tips. Um, like the this particular artist will give you a tip. Um, they also talk about um, what they're interested in and how they drew the picture, what they used to draw the picture or paint the picture. <clears throat> it's a very, it's an excellent book if you want to get into urban sketching. Um, and again, it's another book I bought when I started my own journal of sketching the houses around my town. And yeah, all different styles um, some are just in graphite some are painted some are um, pastel markers all different styles um, i tagged this one just recently i love 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 this and went and looked up this man who is actually very popular um, paul heaston heaston he's on youtube and instagram and um, yeah, he does like this rounded kind of fisheye view and he tries to put in every single element he can see without turning his uh, head. So everything he can see in his vision needs to go down on the paper. Absolutely fantastic artist. Um, so there's a lot of popular artists in here as well um, that you can find online. But absolutely amazing book. Um, so if you're interested in urban sketching, I would definitely recommend this book. Again, it's a very, very thick book, well worth the money. And it's by Gabrielle Campanario. So I'll just show you there. Gabrielle Campanario. And it's a quarry book. And that's the ISB number of that one. Okay, now, <clears throat> this one is not a journaling book, but it's actually how to make journals. So if you're into making art journals, making sketchbooks, this is Making Handmade Books, 100 plus binding structures and forms by Alicia Golden. 
and um, yeah as it states um, this is a really good book if you want to find out different ways to make different art journals so instead of just um, making signatures and stitching them in there's all sorts of books you can make in here um, there's like the folded accordion styles um, different stitching styles there's portfolios wallets yeah like I said different way of, of stitching the bindings with illustrations and and it's all step by step um, yeah different just and not just books but little you know pamphlets you might want to make just a quick um, like art type pamphlet um, it's got a small bit on pop-ups, um, but it doesn't really go into pop-ups too much. But if you just want like a little square pop-up or something. Um, so, yeah, it's another really nice book. Um, this is a fan book. Uh, just a really nice book if you're into making, um, you know, your own art journals and your own art books. Um, yeah with step-by-step -step guides so that one there is by Alicia Golden and the ISB number is there okay <clears throat> now I said I would show you my sketchbook so this is my new sketchbook it's actually an old sketchbook that I had laying around and I only did a couple pages in it which I really didn't like um, I was just messing around. So I tore those out because I hate wasting an entire sketchbook. <laughs> like if I can reuse it, I will. Um, so I got this out. It's a A4 landscape. It's not a particularly good brand. It's from my cheap shop because I wanted one when I bought it right now. <laughs> So it's got really bad paper in it. It is. It did say it's a watercolour sketchbook, but it's terrible paper. But I want to finish it before I, I, you know, go get another one. And I know I always say I want to finish this and I never do. But I think maybe, maybe this is the way. So I started it. This is my first page here. And this is all about um, my life, my illustrated life and um yes it's um i started watching a youtube channel and of course i can't remember her name but she does these fantastic journal spreads of her everyday life if i'll find her name and i'll put it in the description below but she does pages like this of everyday things in her life. And she says you don't need to go out every day and look at beautiful things and touristy things to have a beautiful journal. You need to find beauty in everyday things. And that's what I've done. And then so I just look around my house and I draw, I, I sketch out with pencil first because I'm not too confident with my drawing at the moment because I haven't done it for so long. <laughs> so I sketch it out with pencil first. I then go over it with um, my waterproof pen. Uh, then I rub out the, um, the graphite pencil and then I go in with my watercolour and then I just date and sometimes time, put the time of what I'm doing it. So this is my backyard. Um, and my daughter's grooming salon um, and this is from my kitchen so I'm looking through sort of the kitchen window um, to do this and it's winter at the moment and that's why the sky looks so you know not that nice blue and clouds it was quite um, overcasty terrible day um so yeah it's just everyday things so this is um a teacup i drink tea every day so this is one of my teacups my glasses which are these ones here and i love that she actually says in her videos and she has hundreds of videos um you're just trying to find the essence of the item you don't have these drawings don't have to be um 100% accurate you're just trying to find the essence of something 
Um, so you are trying to draw from life. So you're looking at, so these glasses were up like that. So can you see that? Yeah. So, you know, they're not the same size. They're not exactly the same color. You know, the shape is probably slightly off, but I've got the essence of the glasses. I know looking at this, that these are my glasses and, you know, not my daughter's glasses. So um, that's what I really liked about it. And that's what encouraged me to start this journal. This is a nice, huge um, candle I bought. It's my favorite candle in the house and I refuse to light it. <laughs> it's from the 70s and I got it at a thrift store and it looks brand new and I just refuse to burn it. I just love the look of it. So I started this 15th of June. Um, so I date it. So this one here, this painting was actually on the 16th of June. So I've been doing this every day. So this is my next spread. I hope it fits on the camera there. Um, so every day, my everyday kettle, my electric kettle being in Australia, um, <clears throat> which of course I use every day. It's nothing special. Uh, it's definitely nothing special, but it is special to me because I use it every day to paint my cups of tea. <laughs> But it's just finding the beauty in everyday objects and learning to draw what you see. So this was one day, this was my lunch. So I had this um, German cookie and I had my salad roll for lunch. Um, this is what the plate looked like, my dinner plates. Um, this is my... Um, my moisture meter <laughs> so they don't have to do you know they don't have to be related um i used this um on that particular day to check the moisture in my pot plants so i thought i might as well draw it um here we have uh, we were just one night i felt like i needed to put something else on the page we were watching tv watching the news so i just you know drew my little table we have our tv on and this was the news reader and then this is the actual pen that i use um for um my drawings before i put watercolor on them and i'm just hoping like to get better and better with my layouts and my watercolor and my drawing as i go along so it's a nice adventure this is my second spread so um, we've got different days for different things. So I did the egg container box. Um, yeah, just because it was sitting on my counter, on my kitchen counter, it just sits there. And I just kept looking at it thinking, like sometimes I put them in the fridge and sometimes I leave them on the counter because it's winter at the moment. And I thought, well, I might as well draw it. I keep staring at it every day on my counter. So I drew that. And of course, it's not to scale. I don't draw everything to scale because it just wouldn't fit. <laughs> they wouldn't. I wouldn't be able to fit so much on my page if I drew everything to scale. And um, <clears throat> this is the little, um, we have little tiny tennis balls that our, our chihuahua plays with. And he plays with them every night. So I put that in there. Um, this is another of my tea, or well, this is a coffee mug, but I use it for my tea and it's my favourite cup. Um, it's a pottery cup and it has this, it's handmade and it has this frog on there and I got it from the thrift store and I just love it. Um, this was, that was on the 19th, then on the 20th, which was actually yesterday, we went to the airport and dropped my daughter off because um, she went on a holiday. So this was out the window of the airport. And then we went to some friends, um, <clears throat> friend's house and she made a beautiful lasagna for us. And she actually made two lasagnas because I'm lactose intolerant. So this was the cheesy lasagna and then she made me a lactose free <laughs> lasagna, bless her heart. And we had a really nice games night. So I just, and what I did, because I don't always have my sketchbook on me I don't take because it's such a big book I don't take my sketchbook with me places so what I do is I just take a quick photo and then when I got home and the next day I just drew it from memory and from the photo that I took 
And then uh, my daughter visited and she had a packet of these nice snake um, jelly lollies. Um, these are made in Australia. I don't know if you have them overseas. Um, but yeah, there was only four left in the packet and she said, do you want one? And then I ate all four and then she complained that I ate the whole bag. <laughs> so this was the packet. I ripped open here. And then this is the page, the double spread that I'm working on. So yesterday I just did these two pictures. So this is, I was sitting in the car here at the curb. This is the curb. And um, this was the pharmacy. My husband just ran in and got my prescription. So I just, again, didn't have my sketchbook, but quickly took a photo so I could come home and sketch it. And again, another teacup that I have. Um, and it's my favourite teacup because it's just the right size. So you'll probably see a lot of teacups in here. <laughs> um, but yeah, so now today I will probably add something here and then over here. And this might last two days or three days of sketches on these pages. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really enjoying this. And I find that I'm better at this than like art from imagination I'm quite terrible at. I always wish I was better, but I don't think that I am. And I really do think at least these, <laughs> when I'm looking at these things, I can at least draw them half decent. <laughs> so yeah, this is what I'm working on at the moment. And I'm uh, very happy with it. So when this sketchbook is finished or maybe even halfway through i'll come back if you want and i'll i'll make another youtube video of this <laughs> and we'll see how i went hopefully it's not finished after four pages <laughs> but yeah i do plan to continue this one so if you want to see more of this sketchbook and what i come up with uh, leave me a message down below i'd love to hear from you and see what you think Okay, guys, I'll leave it there and I'll put a part two to this video of all my other art style books to inspire you with your um, creations. Okay, guys, see ya.